What time is it? It's 12 o'clock noon. Oh wow, it means it's lunch time. Well, in South Africa, but in other countries, it could be breakfast or supper or snack time. Hi everyone, my name is Shadea. My name is Shadea. Welcome to a video ministry of Grace TV. Here we serve bite sized spiritual meals, or you can call it Bible study online. This is every weekday. This is Pastor Dean Padayag. Welcome to Soul Food. Today we will begin another series on the twofold purpose of God. And we are praying that this lesson will bless you and strengthen your Christian faith. Have you ever wondered why so many Christians are contradicting in so many ways in their faith and practice as believers despite using the same Bible and believing in the same Jesus. Have you heard of believers who desperately want to go to heaven and to be with the Lord forever and ever and yet when they pray, they pray thy kingdom come. Aren't they very confusing where they want to go? Have you heard of people saying that Christ died for all and other people believe that Christ died only for many or for some? Isn't it very confusing? There is definitely confusion among many Bible believers and even Christians in general. There is no doubt about it. There is a great deal of confusion and this confusion comes from the failure to rightly divide the word of truth. There is a passage in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 to 17 and it says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Now, this passage tells us what to study. It says the Bible or the scripture, we have to study the scripture. And many people are studying the Bible, yet they remain so confused, so ignorant, and have not come to the clear understanding of God's purpose and plan. Why is that? And that is because many of them do not know how to study. They know what to study, but they do not know how to study. And let's go now to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, because this passage tells us how to study. It says, study to show thyself approve unto God. We have to study to show ourselves approved unto God, not to man. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Here we have the how to study. That is rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, some people are thinking that 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 to 17 and 2 Timothy 2 15 are in contradiction with each other. That's not true. As a matter of fact, these two passages are not uh, contradicting with each other, but they are complementing with each other. One talks about what to study and the other one talks about how to study. And we have to uh, be reminded of ourselves as we continue with this series that we have to study the Bible, the entire scripture, but we are going to use the principle of rightly dividing the word of truth, the how to study as we continue. Now, with this series, the twofold purpose of God, we will be learning about the twofold purpose of God, 
uh, when we talk about incarnation, twofold purpose of God of the crucifixion, twofold purpose uh, of the resurrection, twofold purpose of ascension, and then twofold purpose of the second coming of Christ. There is no doubt that the Bible talks about twofold purpose. It is evident as we read the scriptures, even from the very beginning of the Bible. Now, it is very interesting that the opening part or verse uh, of the Bible does not say, in the beginning, God created the universe. It's not general term universe, but very specific. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Why is that? Because God has a specific purpose for these two places, the earth and the heaven. So what is God's purpose concerning earth? Maybe that is your question right now. Well, the Bible talks about for the earth is to be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea, as indicated to us by prophet Isaiah in chapter 11, verse 9. God wants the earth to be full of the knowledge of the Lord and this will be accomplished, this will happen when Christ sits down in his throne in the earth and reign as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And the prophetic scriptures, you know, the Old Testament, the gospel records and half of the book of Acts, we have uh, these books talking about this prophetic truth. And we have Acts chapter 3 verse 21. It says, Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. So this is prophecy. The holy prophets of God talk about this truth about the earth and the reigning of Jesus Christ upon the earth. And it's prophesied since the world began. But God also has a special purpose concerning heaven, which he keep hidden in his own heart since uh, or before the world began. He only revealed this until man's sin and rebellion had reached its climax. And he revealed this to Apostle Paul. You know, Apostle Paul was the chief of sinners. When he was still Saul, he was the chief of sinners. And now when he's converted, he is now an apostle and God used him to be uh, the agent. And he received this wondrous secret of God's purpose to offer sinners everywhere salvation by grace through faith alone, reconciling them unto himself and putting them into one body, you know, using the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then they were given or they are given a position in heavenly places. Now this truth was hidden in the past as I mentioned, it was kept secret since the world began. And then Apostle Paul received this. Christ has given this revelation to Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 16, verse 25. It says, Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. This is Jesus Christ giving this revelation to Apostle Paul. And this revelation of the mystery was kept secret since the world began. This heavenly program and the revelation of the mystery again was given only to and through Apostle Paul. And that's why Apostle Paul exclusively calls this my gospel. God has not given this truth to Moses, to Abraham, to John, and uh, to the 12 apostles. Apostle Paul claims that he received this by revelation from the Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll talk about this as we continue with this series. Beloved, tune in tomorrow as we begin to talk about the twofold purpose of God uh, regarding incarnation. Thank you very much for being with us. Enjoy your soul food.